It was Victor Matfield who was the centre of attention as the latest entrant to the 100 Club. A dedicated family man, he has no doubt where the credit lies for his successful rugby career. If it wasn't for my wife, I think I would never get to 100 games as well because in my younger days I was probably a bit of a rough child and uh, she came in and she got me on the right track and just put back some values that my parents installed but kind of got out of the back door and she just brought them back into my life and yeah, she supported me all the way. Matfield made his international debut in 2001 alongside Mark Andrews, a World Cup winner and at the time the most capped forward in Springbok history. I think my first 10 or 11 tests with Mark, uh, I've learned quite a bit of him and then of course when he retired Bucky's came in and uh, we started a special relationship that's still going, hopefully we'll go for another year or so. That partnership was at the heart of the Springbok pack and underpinned South Africa's second Rugby World Cup triumph in France in 2007, to date the pinnacle of his career. It was just so special, just everything worked in our way. I can still remember the weekend of the uh, quarterfinals when New Zealand and Australia lost on the same night. It was the day before we played and it sounded like we won the World Cup <laughs> with them being knocked out. But um, the next day we had a very tough game against Fiji and almost uh, got into trouble in that game as well. But um, again, I think we did everything right. For four years we planned for the World Cup. Uh, everything built up to that tournament and uh, I think we peaked at exactly the right time. A highly successful skipper of the Blue Bulls, Matfield has rarely led the Springboks, which has at times led to speculation about his relationship with long-serving captain John Smith. I think it was a difficult time, maybe. It was never that I wanted John's job and we, from the first day, we got along, we worked together. And, uh, but in the media, again, because the Bulls were so successful at that stage and there was a lot of Bulls players in the Springbok side, a lot of people in the media said, yeah, but maybe Victor and not John or whatever. But um, I've just enjoyed working with John. I've got the most respect for him. I think he's an unbelievable captain. And I've even learned so much from him with a box setup that I took back to the Bulls and the way I do things. So, um, yeah, I just got the utmost respect for John and I just enjoy working with him every day. He stayed on in France after winning the 2007 World Cup to play for too long. Alongside the likes of George Gregan, Dan Luger and Andrew Mertens, he experienced the uncompromising attitude of French club rugby. Playing second division, uh, my boxing skills had to get better over there because there was a lot of boxing as well in the game, so it was tough. But uh, great time with the family. Also, the city of Toulon, they love rugby, so that was amazing to experience as well. Alongside Bakis Botta, he's competed against the best line-out forwards in the world. But which of these giants has stood above the rest? Probably at the moment, uh, Paul O'Connell from Ireland. Uh, he's also a very hard player, but he also do a lot of hard work. And he's got Gert Smal, of course, with him now that helps him quite a bit. Uh, so he's very tough to play against. The 33-year-old intends to retire from rugby after the World Cup next year, much to the relief of opponents worldwide, no doubt. There'll be plenty more family time then, but for now his sights are firmly set on one last triumph. Yeah, I've got a year left, so um, till the World Cup, uh, hopefully I can get a few more in. Uh, hopefully I won't be rested for too many. And then there's also a guy like Andrews Becker coming through, so I, I have to keep working hard to keep him out of the side. But um, yeah, I always say rugby is a journey and I had a great journey. So uh, there's one more year. Whatever I have to do to help the Springbok side, if it's from the bench or if I play every test or if I play two tests, whatever I can do to help them to win back-to-back -back World Cups will be amazing.